Praise the Lord. Come up here, I greet you tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm always happy to be here. Amen. Hallelujah. And I always enjoy to be here. To worship with you. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, I treasure the fellowship that we have together. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you so much. I want to thank Pastor Charles for the invitation and uh, the, the, the planning no planning that we could be together at such a day as this. Amen. God bless you so much. Amen. Our precious pastor. Amen. I really treasure you. And I respect you. Amen. Amen. And uh, as he has said, we have gone through some hard moments. And he told me that you have also passed through some hard moments here. Some, some loved one who departed and also we lost our loved one. A minister. But uh, as he has said, it's not a death. No, it's someone, someone going ahead of us. To the place that we love to be. So I even don't know why we grieve. Because it's a matter of time. And we meet those loved ones. Yeah, we are all pilgrims and strangers. It's like one of uh, pilgrims reaching home before... Before you reach. And you are also on the way. Yeah. Yeah. He has uh, told me you have had also events after events after events. Same applies to us. After the convention, we had weekend meetings. After that, we had a funeral. So we have been going through moments and moments. We've been so busy. So, uh, it is the way of the ministry. Praise be the name of the Lord. But we are happy to be fellow pilgrims. And you happy to know that you are in the company of God's children and fellow pilgrims. You are not alone. We are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. We are a selected people. Chosen people. Amen. Hallelujah. A redeemed society, a redeemed community of the Lord. Separated. Called out. Made different. 
Amen. Hallelujah. That is the definition Brother Branham told us the word church means. He said the word church means a called out ones. Separated and made different. We have been called out of the world separated and we are made different. A people of God. A family that God calls his family. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's the greatest privilege to man to know you are a people of God. I always say there are two special people on earth today. One group is the Jews. The children of Israel. The second group is the, is the bride. No wonder we sing. I'm so glad to know that I'm one of them. By the grace of God. Not by our wisdom. Not by our knowledge. Not by our goodness. But by the grace of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Shake your neighbor's hand. Love them, fellow pilgrims. Amen. Hallelujah. Your brother, your sister. Members of the family of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That one. That one. That one. Is more. Your is more of your relative than your family members. Praise God. You were together in eternity and you're going back to where? Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, you see, sometimes a brother can fall sick. Or he can die. Pass on. And then you find believers asking, Where is his, where is his family members? Uh, they should handle this. They are the ones who are responsible here. No. We are the family members. We are the family members. We are the ones responsible. Yeah, we can respect them and honor them. But knowing in our hearts, this is our person. This is our brother. This is our sister. Amen. Amen. And it is true. Then how we ought to respect one another. And love one another. And cherish, cherish one another. Cherish brotherhood. Amen. Amen. So those uh, who came from Speckled Bird. Uh, since others I met them here I will not say that I came with them others I met them here but I am very happy to meet them here Amen to come and share fellowship yeah, I announced it and I said, those who can please let us meet them Amen. Amen. So you are most welcome. Those uh, who came from Speckled Bird. But, Speckled Bird. But we are all Speckled Bird. And we are all Little Flock. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, 
We have a very strange name, complicated, speckled, but many people find it difficult even to pronounce it and they wonder, why did we call ourselves that? Uh, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 12 of verse 9, the Lord said, my heritage is unto me as the speckled bird. My heritage. So then Brother Branham reflecting on that scripture, he said, I disagree with a man. Who said that the speckled bird is Israel? He said, no. It is the bride of Jesus. Then he referred to another scripture in the book of Leviticus. Where God instructed the, the priests how they would give a sacrifice of a total bird to cleanse, to cleanse, to cleanse, the, leper, to cleanse the leper. That a priest should have one turtle dove. I mean, he has two. Then he slays one. Then uh, put the. the and uh, he gets it to the running water. And the running water, as it flows, flows on this living one. And then releases the living one. And then that water was used for the cleansing of the lepers. Now, this one that has been released to fly. It has the blood of the dead mate. And uh, so it is spotted. It is marked. It is speckled. With the blood of its friend which has died for it. That is the church of Jesus Christ. He was slain for you. And his blood, amen, Amen. has marked you. You look different wherever you pass. Well, the way you speak, the things you like, you are different. Why? Because you are marked. You are different. So he said, the bride of Jesus Christ is the speckled bird. So all of us are speckled bird. And all of us are little flock. He said, fear not, little flock. It's, it's your father's pleasure to give you the kingdom. Amen. Amen. So, the different, the local churches and the names and the names. They don't mean much. They don't mean much. We are the body of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Uh, but I came with my wife. I want her to stand for recognition. Amen. Amen. Then uh, I'm happy to meet uh, Brother Shamamba. Brother Shamamba is a deacon in our church. And I've seen his dear wife there. God bless you so much. Amen. Amen. So let us, uh, already I've spoken a lot. But let us get into the word now. We have a lot to speak anyway. Yeah, we have a lot to speak. A lot wow. of things that are happening around us. We could, we could, we could say much. But let us say, say, speak in the word. Luke chapter 8 verse 5. Luca. Munana onyiroro kutano. Uh, 
A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it, and some fell upon a rock, and as, it, as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away, because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it, and other fell on good ground, and sprang up and bare fruit and a hundredfold fold. Uh, amen. May the Lord. Amen. Okay. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Amen. May the Lord add blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. So let us pray. Father, we are very grateful to be in your presence. We have come needy people. And we need you, Lord. Forgive all our trespasses. Forgive our shortcomings. Forgive every area where we are lacking. But that's, but that's why we are here. To you, Lord God, who is able to perfect us. Speak to us tonight, Lord. Let us hear from you tonight. Granted, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Now, I will take a subject. Uh, what would fail a seed? Now, Kati. What would fail a seed? And uh, if a seed is not failed, you can tell what it's going to become. Because after God created everything, the vegetations, the insects, the reptiles, the falls of the air, the animals, everything. God appreciated his work. And he wanted it to continue multiplying. And he said, let every seed bring forth. After it's kind. Amen. Amen. So, if you want a mango tree, if you want a mango tree, you take a mango seed, and when you plant a mango seed, you are sure it's going to give you a mango tree. And when it gives you a mango tree, you are going to have mango fruits. And from the mango fruits, you'll have many mango seeds. Amen. Hallelujah. If I hold here in my hand a seed or a mango seed, and I ask you, what is this? What am I holding here? You may say you are holding a mango seed. You would be right to say so. But it is more than that. I will be holding a mango tree. Potentially. I will be holding tens of thousands if not millions of mangoes here not only that I'll be holding a forest a forest of mangoes a big forest that is how powerful seed is. Because if I planted this seed and it grows into a mango tree, 
it's going to give me every season. It is going to give me mangoes. Tens of thousands of mangoes. And then those mangoes, all of them have seeds that are going to bear big trees. And those trees will also bear fruits and seeds. And that's great forest that can cover the whole of this planet. That's what seed means. And now, Kati, Brother Branham took a subject that he called the spoken word is the original seed. Yes, Amen. Amen. Now, Kati, the spoken word is the original seed. Yes, All the seeds we have talked about. Even you, now you are a seed. Now manifested. manifested. At one time, you were a seed. In your father, you didn't look like this. Amen. Amen. No one could tell that that seed microorgan microorgans can even make a great person that you are. If you are a preacher today, that was a preacher in the form of that seed. If you are a doctor today, a doctor was in, in that seed. Amen. Amen. And in you, there are multiple seeds. But all the seeds but all the seeds came from the word of God. God said, let there be. And there was. So the word that was spoken produced a mango seed. Produced a human seed. Produced an elephant seed. Produce the insects and all. They came from the word. No wonder you can look at nature and get a revelation of the will of God. Because nature is an offspring. Yeah. Is an offspring of the word. So, you can look at nature and you discover resurrection. And you discover eternal life. One time Job looked at nature. In his greatest trying moments. Looked like he was finished. He said, but there is hope in a tree. When it is cut down, or when it dies, it waits for the season of water. And when it tastes the water, it springs up. But man dies and is not. Then he got a revelation that why tree has hope to come up again. Because it never sinned. But man sinned. Then he got a revelation that there is a 
pass a holy one. A just one. Who will come and reconcile man and God. By taking away the sin. That separated man and God. Then he said, I know my redeemer liveth. And those skin worms will destroy this body. Yet in this flesh, in my flesh, I will see him. He discovered resurrection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He discovered the Teaching the doctrine of resurrection. By looking at nature. Because nature. Came from the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Now God. Who is the author of all the, the seeds. In him finally came out a seed. That was in his image. A child. From God. From himself. A child. Who looked like him. And that child. Was supposed. To. Reproduce God. To multiply God. What does your son multiply? Your son multiplies you. Because your son is your seed. And the children he, 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 he gets. He's multiplying you. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what it is. So Adam, Adam was the son of God. He looked like God. He looked like God. He controlled nature. He could speak. And his word would create. His word would perform. What he has sent it to do. It would do it. Amen. Amen. Just like God. Because he's is a son of God. When he fell, he lost that. But before he fell, he was God. Adam, Adam was the God of the earth. God was the God of the entire universe. But he, he gave his son to be the God of the earth. Praise God. But he lost it. But we know that all that Adam lost. We know that all that Adam lost. Jesus restored. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Adam. Adam was the God here. And Satan stole it away from him. And today, Satan is called the God of this world. Amen. Praise God. Even, Jesus, even Jesus referred to him that way. How did he take that position? He stole it. He's a robber. He's a thief. He stole it from Adam. But even when he stole it, he did not get the title deed. So when you steal a property, when you steal a property, without the documents about that property, Anytime you can lose it. Praise God. That's why we see. 
Amen. Amen. In Revelation 5, one who sat on the throne with a book in his hand sealed with seven seals. And that book was the title deed. Amen. Hallelujah. Satan stole, but did not have a title deed. God, God picked it. He could not take, Satan could not take it from the Son of God. The Father came and took it to himself. Satan temporarily. Temporarily. You can have the world. You can have the earth. But you have no title deed. The title deed is here. Amen. Hallelujah. And then after Jesus Christ died to redeem us. To redeem us back to what we lost. Then he gives John a revelation. The revelation showing him the plan of redemption. And there was one seated on the throne. And the other in his hand. A title deed. The title deed. And then the whole of human race. Was behind there. All the human race. And then there was a great announcement. Who is able. To take that book and to lose the seals thereof. And there was no man on earth. There was no man in heaven. No man anywhere was it. And John wept. Why? You cannot have inheritance without a title day. Praise God. Who is there? Who is in that book? You don't know. Is my name there? Am I one of them? You don't know. Am I one of the hairs? You cannot know. How much if I'm a hair? How much do I own? You cannot tell. Because the book is sealed. You cannot even claim nothing. Because you... Ah, you don't know whether you are one of the hairs. Praise God. Because we know that all that dwell upon the earth. Those who are on earth shall worship the beast apart from those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life slain from the foundation of the world. Who are those? You cannot know. You cannot claim that you are one of them before the book is open. So John wept because no man was worthy to take that book to open it to lose it to remove the seals so that we can see what is there. But he didn't go cry for long. One of the elders came and talked to him said weep not John for the Lamb of God the light of the tribe of Judah uh, has prevailed to take the book to and to lose the seals thereof. Amen. Hallelujah. And then John said, he saw the lamb rise. Amen. Amen. Stood between mankind and God. Like a, he, and he looked like the, a lamb slain. From the foundation of the world. But Abraham said. It means. He had. He was all. Covered with blood. Like a lamb slain. He was all covered by blood. And that blood. It is called the bleaching agent. The bleaching power. 
Amanya Agayosa. And he stood in the breach. Yaimira Wagadwal Sek. There are two words here. You can reflect for us the, the word bleach. B-L-O-E. B-L-O-E. A-C-H. Bleach. Bleach. He had bleach on him. Yes. As you see, Jik. That is bleach. That's why he is singing a song. Utakaso Nidamu ya Yesu Kijito cha utakaso Echidiva 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 Eri pool It's a pool of blood Echidiva chomusai Hallelujah Amen It's a pool of blood Echidiva chomusai It's a pool A cleansing pool Echidiva chitunaza and when, you, when sinners plunge into it, they lose all their guilty stains. He stood in the breach. The breach. With the breach. The, br the breach. Biara. B R E A C H. Oh, yeah, 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 Is a gulf, a, a gulf. Oruongo, Oruongo. It's a chasm, Ruongo. Man is on the other side. Oh, Mundari Kurudaluri. God is on another side. Katonari Kurudarudara. When man sinned, Oh, Munduayonana. Sin separated him with God. Echivichamu Kanyana Katonda. Man is on the other side. Oh, Munduari Kurudaluri. And God is on the other side. Katonanga Kurudarudara. In between, Niwabera Makatao. There is a gulf. Gawari Echibaura. There is a chasm. Gawari Echibaura. That cannot be crossed. Gatibasola Kusisingana. That is the bridge. But Jesus comes and stands in the in the bridge with bleach on him. Lamb slain, covered with blood. That when you're coming back to God, you can only come through Him. Not through church. Not through denomination. Not through bishop. Not through pope. Not through pastor. Not through Jesus. No man comes to the Father. But only by me. And as you come. Come by him. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. As you come by him, that bleach, that bleach, that pool of blood, it will wash you. It will take every guilty stain. It will break every stain of sin from your life and send it back to the devil. A better life be. The spot of sin will be sent back to the devil. You are not a sinner. It is the devil who is a sinner. You are not a sinner. Brother Branham Yagamba. Brother Branham said that a spot, before it becomes a spot, there are some elements that unite together. And form a stain. And they didn't call it a Some gases, some elements, some elements. The elements. gases, if you people who know chemistry. We all come chemistry. together. And, and we said when that, when the breach, yeah, uh, when the bleach touches the stain, the, the, when the bleaching agent touches the stain, it breaks it. It disintegrates it. And it takes it back 
to what it was before it became a stain. It takes it back to its original state. Amen. So, when your sin stain was touched by the blood of Jesus. That blood divorced sin from your life. Took it back to its original state. And where was it before it became a stain? It was in the devil. The devil is the sinner from the beginning. So, who is the sinner? Not you, the child of God. It is the devil. For you, you are justified. You never did it to begin with. You never sinned to begin with. Who is a sinner? Someone must take responsibility for that sin. Someone must be held responsible for that sin. If you are justified that you never did it, who did it? It is the devil. And for you now, you are justified. Hallelujah. You are justified. So he takes the book. Not for the table. Loses the sin. Na sumulule vumbo. Pa 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 pa. And then John said, "Everything on in the heaven, everything under the the sea, everything everywhere." Heard me shout. Shout can. Heard me rejoice and shout. Shout you can. John, oh, John made a commotion. John made a commotion. Be quiet. Because he was singing his name. He was singing his name in the book. My name is there. I am one of them. I am redeemed. Once I was lost. But now I'm found. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Brother Branham said, when that was revealed to me, I wonder whether I did not wake up all the neighborhood. Brother Branham shouted in his house. And he was worried that all the neighborhood was affected. When you see, brother, brother, when you see your name in that Lamb's book of life, in the title deed, and you see you are one of them, you are there. Praise God. You are the Son of God. You are the daughter of God. You have eternal life. You are in God. Even before the foundation of the world. And he wrote your name, he wrote your name in his book. You cannot get lost when you see your name there. Brother, you can't fail to shout. You can't fail to rejoice. Tell me what is more important than that. What can be equal to that? One of them. Oh, one of them. I'm so glad. Be a man of quick club on your musam. Be a man of quick club on your I broke the seven seals. Mukubikura kumi in Revelation 10. Nenda ba malai komukuru. And I saw an uh, angel. Nga guru. Was descending coming from heaven. Na kataba kabi kure. With an open book. What is that book? sealed. It is the other book that was sealed. But now it is an open book. Brother Bram Nagamba. And then Brother Bram said, The seventh angel. 
Yalikuusi. He was on earth at the time of that coming. Mukasera kuweyaja. When that mighty angel is coming down from heaven. We are ringa kakuwa muguru. Malaiko. According to Revelation 10:1. The seventh angel. Malaiko wa musam was on earth. Yari wanukusi. Those are two angels. One is from heaven. Another one is a human being. Praise God. Because God uses human beings. Amen. Brethren. This law of redemption. That's a plan this of is the plan of redemption. Today we are talking We have been talking about seed. Let us go back and talk about the seed. Today we are talking That's what Adam was. Adam And he lost it. Christ came. Christ came to redeem us back to it. Brother, Brother. When the church catches that revelation, if we can catch that revelation, we shall not be, that, that nothing will be able to stop us. That's what Brother Bram said. Moses, Musa, under the blood of animals, the blood of animals only covered the sin, the sin stain, but he did not take it away. It covered. But under that temporary remedy, he raises his rod. And say, let there be flies. And at that moment, there is no any fly around. But after he has spoken, a few minutes, you see a black fly. And another one. And another one. And in a few minutes, you have nowhere to step. To. It is all covered by flies. Where have they come from? They have been created by God. God Moses, Musa. a son of God is a God. God Moses has created them Musa under the blood of animals. It kind of temporarily, yeah. it kind, it kind of temporarily or partially, it kind of restores to him. To where Adam was before he fell. Partially. Because the blood is not perfect. The blood, the blood of animals. Partially. It takes him to that position. What about you and me? You are not partially restored. But we are fully restored. The blood of Jesus does not cover our sin stains. It takes it away. You have never sinned. You are justified. And Brother Bram said, if you take me to court, that I did, I did, that I did this, this, that. And now, through the court process, it finds out that I never did it. You cannot say that you have forgiven me. You have forgiven me of what? How do you forgive me of what I never did? I never did it. In the court language, I am justified. I am acquitted. 
And then I can sue for damages. You have wasted my time. You have wasted my resources. You have spoiled my name. Sir, so you've got to pay. So we have a right now to sue for damages. But with boldness, with boldness, we have to sue for damages. Satan, give back whatever you have stolen from us. Praise God. We have authority and power over Satan. Praise the Lord. That is the meaning of the message of the hour. That's what this message means. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the message of restoration to what we lost. Amen. Hallelujah. It's the title book. It's the title deed of redemption. Praise God. That you can know who you are. You can know who you are. And you can know your position in God. And you can know what you you own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. How can you plant wheat here? Osola kusigo tawa no and wheat here. Nesigo nenga no wali. And say I'm going to get cucumbers here. Noga mangenda kungula o cucumber. And and wheat here. Nenga no wali. You can't do it. Tosola chikoda. The only way you are going to get cucumbers. Engeri yoka joga na kungula o cucumber is plant cucumbers. Oi no kusigo cucumber. If you have bred it, if you are if you have bred it. Wovango chi. It won't be a cucumber. It will be a hypocrite. Is that right? It will be a hypocrite. Amen. 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 Just go to say it. It isn't it isn't it isn't neither one. It isn't cucumber or wheat. Over cucumber over You breed it with oh you are uh, oh. All what you breed it with. It's a cross breed. And it's a bad product. And it's dead in itself. And it can't be it can't breed itself no more. It's dead. It's dead. Right there. Back won't go no further. That finished it. That's all. But if you want a cucumber, start with a cucumber. If you want a church, start with the word of God. You want the life of God? Start with the word of God. Accept the word of God. In his fullness. Every measure of it. And if that is the fullness of God. In you. Then the rain that is falling will produce exactly what is in your garden. Hallelujah. Katika tonda. Now God. He also has a seed. Ensigo, the seed. Adam. It came from Adam. Adam a good day. Adam has fallen. Adam. Adam. Yawewa omkazi. Was given a woman. Asumulo kwezara. That he may reproduce himself. Asumulo kuzale biyamulimu. That he may reproduce what was inside him. Chicheali. What he was. Adam Adam was about to produce Bakatonda gods. Amen. Amen. Adam Adam was going to give birth to Jesus. 
Yes, as a yes, Jesus produced another Jesus. Yes, as a yes, Jesus and produced another yes, Jesus. Yes, as a yes, Jesus produced another Jesus. And said, You never cut on that. And the whole earth will be filled with gods. Okay. The, the whole world was to be filled with the Jesus. And when you cut, get the water, and you turn it into wine, you would walk on top of the water. You cannot die. Amen. Hallelujah. Adam was Adam was to produce the Jesus. But he fell. When he fell and he failed. But God did not fail. Hallelujah. Amen. So he started the plan. To redeem it back. Or restore it back. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me let me let me let me give you the quote for that. He was that seed that Eve should have produced. Who? Ani. Jesus. Yes. Was that seed that Eve should have produced. Do you get it? He was the seed that Eve was produced. But she hybrid it. He, Na, she hybrid it. By disbelieving God is what? So he was the, that sin. And the only way that life could be in the reproduction of life, life had to come through that sin. Which seed? Jesus. Yes. I am the resurrection. Yes. And I'm life. Yes. Life was to come through that seed. And that seed had to die in order to spread out the life. So, no Eve failed. Amen. Amen. But although she failed, Mary, Mary Maria did not behave like Eve. Mary Maria accepted the word. Let it be unto me according to your word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You see, Orava, originally, we were not to be born through the sexual desire of our parents. We were born by lust. We were born by lust. But we were to be born the way Jesus was born. You see, when David is repenting after falling, he tells God, I was shaped in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. In other words, how can I help to be a sinner? How can I help but be a sinner? Uh, amen. Amen. He was not saying that he was born outside marriage. No. He was saying that the way you are born, you and me, it was seed. It was just a permissive will. But the perfect will of God of a human being coming into the world was the way Jesus came into the world. How did he come? You shall have a child. 
And it shall be called. How shall it be when I know no man? The power of the Most High shall overshadow you. And that which will be formed in you shall be called the Son of the Living God. And she said, Amen. Let it be unto me according to thy word. And the word created the baby. Here is one of the greatest mysteries that religious don't understand. No wonder they call Mary the mother of God. Mary was not the mother of Jesus. Amen. There is no moment where Jesus ever called her mother. He often called her woman. 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 The prophet told us she was only an incubator. He was no, Jesus was not a Jew. And he was not a Gentile. There was no Jewish blood in him. There was no human being that contributed. If you took Jesus' blood to test his DNA, matching it with Mary, whether she's the mother or whether she's the mother or a mom, or by the mama, mama, it would have come out negative. But for you, you are child. The one who that you produced. If they check the DNA, they will know that you are the one who gave birth to that child. But if you test the blood of Jesus and you test the one of Mary, it will say negative. See a mama. This mother. Wow. That one was revealed to us by the message. Kubanga. Because if the, the blood of Mary, huh? yes, if it was in Jesus, and yet the one of Mary came from Adam, then Jesus will be having a spot of sin in him. That blood, would, that blood wouldn't be perfect. Because cannot wash dirty. Dirty cannot wash dirty. But Jesus had to be spotless. Yes, Clean blood. Pure blood. We are redeemed by the blood of God Himself. Amen. Amen. So Brother Brown said, no, your brother Brown, my the word of God created the egg in her and created the seed and the child form. She was only an incubator. Perfect seed of God. No wonder he said, No man can take away my life. Her power to lay down my life and to take it up again. This commandment have I received of my father. Break this temple. In three days. I will pull it up again. I am the resurrection. And I am life. No man ever spoke like Jesus. Show me a man who ever said such word. I cannot die. I cannot die. I have to release it. 
and then I have to restore uh, it to myself. Who can speak like that? Show me a man who ever said, Come unto me, all you who labor, and I have a lady, and I will give you rest. Which man ever spoke like that? Hallelujah. Amen. Never a man spoke like him. And no man can speak like him. The only way that life could be in the reproduction of life. Life had to come through that seed. And that seed had to die in order to spread out the life. Can't you see it? That's why it is why the water was given to water the seed. The Holy Spirit that was in the garden of Eden was to water the seed. When God spoke his word, the Holy Spirit in the garden of Eden watered that seed. And Adam came, came forth. Adam and now Jesus Christ is that seed. Now, Brother Bram said, the gem of life that was that Jesus was, yes, dear. it had to break at the cross. And that life comes out to water other seeds. The word that he gave us is a seed. The word is a seed. But the word must have life. After it must have moisture. To germinate. Amen. In the Garden of Eden, Eden, the Holy Spirit was there to water the word seed of God to bring forth a child of God. With Mary, she received the word. And the Holy Ghost had to overshadow. To water that seed. Now that seed was born with water in him, the gem of life. Uh, 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 he comes and speaks the word to his disciples and he tells them. You have been made green by the word you have received. He gave them the word. But the word is a seed. But the seed without water, it cannot produce the potentials that are in it. So, he takes them in the upper room. And the life that came from him, the gem of life, comes into them to quicken the word. Oh my God. Hallelujah. To quicken the word. Look. Jesus said. If a grain of wheat. Uh, 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 if a grain of wheat. Falls not in the ground. And dies. It remains alone. He was referring to himself. I am that grain of wheat. I can walk on water. I can turn water into land. I can raise the dead. Amen. I can speak and create. I cannot die. I have eternal life. But you, my friends, you don't have that. I have to die. And when I die, then I can share the life that is in me with you so that you can be like me. A multiplication of what I am. Praise be the name of the Lord. Oh, 
All that is born is born between Satan and Eve. Chona, echaza ali wachaza wakatu wa Satan inekawa. But every man, na yewe ni mundu, no matter whether he is the Pope, or whatever Papa, priest, bishop, whatever, kabona ba bishop, whatever he is, chona che ali, he dies afa because kuvanga is a hybrid. Ye, it's mareto. That's exactly. He was born between Satan and Eve. And they call it whatever you want to. It was Satan and Eve. The original word had nothing to do with it. The original word was life. He had hybrid and he brought death. Katulida. Now listen. Every human being was born between Eve and Satan. How? We were born by a formula that was designed that way between that was designed by a conversation that went on between the serpent and Eve. So a formula was made. And then we were born after that formula. The formula of God was put aside. And it was mixed now. And then came up with something else. A hybrid. So we came with a sin in our life. Praise be the name of the Lord. That's why you must be born again. Because we are born wrong. So you have to be born again. How do you get born again? You receive the word. No one shall be born again without receiving the word seed. Praise God. You have to receive the word. And faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word. And when you hear the word. And you accept it. The way Mary accepted it. And it receives the watering of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you believe it. No and you confess it. No now can you ask me. Why? I am always disturbed by temptations. Why? Why? Brother Branham Yagamba. Brother Branham said. That you are a seed of wheat. Erimu musere. A kakloba is that thing with a big shark, with a, with a green shark that sticks on clothes. When you go through the, when you through, go through grass, you come and your clothes is sticked with those round things. It's a shark. And inside there is a seed, but there is a sack. It's sticking. Now, that is a believer. Kunguru. Kunguru. Oh, on the outside. Oh, and oh, on the outside. Is kakleba. Yeah, is that, is that a wheat? But inside. But inside. Since you, since you received the word, and the word has been filled, anointed by the Holy Spirit, the seed is there. Grain of seed. But the flesh is kakleba. 
Chechu, chechiria, chechi, sere. Now, every time you come to church and you hear Pastor Charles preach, he's breaking that shakaklipa. So that the seed can conquer you, can take over. You remember, my friend, with the story of Moses' Michelangelo's masterpiece of Moses. Malcangelo, 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 of Moses, when he picked that big ma, you know, that big marble, where that block, he knew when he looked at it, there was Moses. But not all of it was Moses. He had to work day and night to remove what is not Moses that Moses may remain. So the word of God that you come here to hear when the minister comes here he comes with a kizo and a hammer to break away what is not the word that the word may remain. But you are born again. You are born again. You are a child of God. But you are surrounded by a material that is not the word of God. That Christ is working on you and kissing it off so that Christ may remain. Praise God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yeah. Are we together, brethren? Now, Christ was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. You believe that? Now, I can't explain all this. I'm just going to go through it. Just quickly now. Amen. Amen. Now, let, us go, let us come to the point here. Now, God is word which destroys the works of the, de of the hybrid of the devil. Is that right? He was done to do that. He was born to do that. He saw the works of that of that of the devil. Now his body is to do the same. Who is his body? The bride. You and me, we are the body of Christ. So we are here also to destroy the works of the devil. Like he was born to destroy the works of the devil. Amen. Because the body is head and body is together. Is that right? You see, the Bible said, Bible again, before Jesus was born, yes, it was prophesied in Isaiah that the government shall be upon his shoulder. The government of government that you are What? Obufuzi. Uh -huh. Obufuzi wa Yesu. Oh, the government of Jesus. He never said to be on the head. He said it will be on the shoulders. What, is the, what are the shoulders? It's the part of the body, the, 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 the strongest part of the body. Now it means all the powers of Jesus. All the powers of Jesus. It's upon you, the bride. You are the body. Hallelujah. You are the shoulders of Jesus. And Jesus has the strength. Jesus has the strength. Jesus has the strength. Is on you. 
the garment shall be upon his shoulders. Meaning, the body, the authority, the strength, the power of Jesus will be upon his church. Christ the head was the word. His body has to be the same thing as his head was. That right, a church of the word, born of the word, virgin, virgin born from the word. Not in denomination now. Virgin born from the word. The way the body operates is by the head. Yes. The way the body operates is by the head. Now, my body can't move until my head tells it to move. Well, what if my head is flesh and my body is concrete? Cement. Can't move. Head can say. Move, 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 move. But there is nothing to send a, me the, a message to. Well, we if my head is Christ. And my body is a denomination. How is it going to work? How can purity and a whole work together? No, no, Maria, I love it, brethren. He said, I, lo I love it, brethren. Okay. I like to approach on some of this. For a while. The way the body operates is by the head. And the head is the word. The word is the, I mean, the head is the word. Just skip a paragraph here. The, now the body carries the works. Amen. Amina. And does the works. Does the works. The, the head commands it to do. Amen. Amina. Tell me where the body said organize. Tell me where the head. Where, tell me where he ever said organize. Tell me where the head say it's all right for women to cut their hair. Mention it. It's not there. Tell me where the head ever said. These works I do, but you shall not do them. Tell me that. Hallelujah. Tell me where the head ever said. Ever ordained a woman preacher. When he came here, he chose 12 of them. Trained them. There's no woman. Amen. Amen. When his disciples were writing the New Testament. They said, let your women learn in silence. Without subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Amen. 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 Now, Kati. See now why I have been so zealous of the kind of seed that I planted for the body. Can't you Amen. Amina. Amen. Now, God is people. Now, I want you to hear this. In this end time, Jesus is coming for a church that looks exactly that the way he started it. 
Yesu agenda kujja kutwale kanisa elabi kangeri ya jitandikamo because the, what you saw kubanga chosiga is what you reap tokungura and we are in the reaping time tole mukasera kama kungura so before that before he comes to take a church home ngatana bakujja kutwale kanisa waka he had to send up to send a prophet yale ina kutumira nabi who is a prophet nabi yani a prophet knows someone who uses his brain nabi si mundu apoza samagezi ge he is a mouthpiece of god nabi abera kama kaka tonda so god himself noloto katonda mwenyini brings for the seed yalete sigo which seed is going to to be pure word of god e sigweli e jakobera chigamba chilembo chaka tonda and that seed e sigweli was going to build or to grow in the body yale no kuzibwa okuliye mubiri amen amina to grow into body e kule kubere mubiri a word body o mubiri chigambo jesus body o mubiri kwa yesu there is no group today tiwali chibinja leru that you can find teaching pure word of god to sola kusanga ngachigirize chigambo chilongo kuchaka tonda than the message Church. Ngojeko amakanisa gabubaka. Amina. Amina. No. We must have the word of God in its purity. Twino kubera ne chigambo cha katonda mu bulongo bwacho. 100% pure. Chikumi ku chikumi ku chirongo chirongo fu. No hybrid at all. Ngati muri mama reto ya na. Because in Jesus. Kubanga mu Yesu. There is no hybrid. Chimari mama reto. So the body no, no, has to be pure word jeno kubera chigamba chirongo fu amen anyo Jesus stood before all yes ya igiri mira masoga bonna and he challenged them na basomoza he said who can condemn me of sin na gama anya sola kubuna na tv what is sin chibiche chi sin is unbelief tv butakiriza and believe oh, to disbelieve the word of god oh, that is sin amen i mean so he meant no who can condemn me of unbelief ani asobola kunumiriza kubera mu butakiriza show me the word of god ndage chigambo chakatone and show me where ndagawa i default it when i chisobya amen i mean no Kati the body of Jesus omubiri gwa Yesu must also stand in the earth gwena kwemira kusi kusi and say who can condemn me of sin gubuze tibuzo ana sola kunumiriza mwe chibi amina nyo we can stand today to sola kwemira lero and hold this bible ne tukweza bible yet and say tugamba who can condemn us Anyaso wala kutulumiriza for being guilty okubera ngagukutusinze for breaking any line of god's word owo kumenya olunyirirwa no lwe chigambo cha katonda for not believing olwo butakiriza in the line of god's word olunyirirwa na oluli mu chigambo cha katonda anyaso wala tulumiriza now brethren kati abaluganda do you know any church mumanye kanisa yona outside the message wa weru wo bubaka that can pose that challenge eh sobola kusomoza do you know any mumanye olina kanisa jo manyiyo look around kampala weto ole kampala yo tell me a church bolira ye kanisa tell me a ministry bolira yo buweleza that can challenge us to show it obusobola kutusomoza where it has disbelieved god's word o we buganyo kukiriza chigambo cha katon If it's a Pentecostal church, we vera kanisa ya barokori, mbumira ko center, mbumira ko center, mbu deliverance mbu full of gospel, mbu mbu fanero mbu fanero, mbu fanero mbu atoto. Mhm. Mbuzowe ministry, mbuzowe eh mbubuchingo kanani land. Mwabakiriza bo bubaka. You message believers and more so you the youth abakendambu mbu there is something there is something in fanero there is something wali wachiri wa fanero there is something wrong with you 
are lacking understanding. Amen, Anyo. Mbu prophet Elvis. Mbu Elvis Mbonye. Mbu Apostle Grace Rubega. Tosobola kuva kumaziga na malongo. You cannot live clean water. No gendo nyo ebitaba. And you go and drink that water. Amen. Muno nya kuchamu ukirira. You are just looking for emotions. Just good singing. Ah ha, kunyimba kurunji. Lucifer was a good singer. Amen, anyo. Lucifer yari mu yimbi na chingu. Brother Branham said they sing like angels. Oh, all kind of Branham magamba ba magamba maraika. They live like devils. Na yeba ta niba niba vera niba vera ngola magamba magamba zimu. And motivational speaking. Eh, okogera, okwa kuba zama mani. And eloquent speaking. No kogera luzungu oro 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 wa guru. But can they challenge us? Like Jesus stood and said, Who can who can condemn you of sin? Hallelujah. I will show them this whole chapter. You took it out. You don't follow it. The Bible says it's a shame for a woman to worship. With a nun-covered head. Meaning she must not shave her hair. That one they are... Bible says... A woman shall, shall, shall learn in silence... With all subjection. I suffer not a woman to teach. Let your women adorn themselves in modest apparel. They get that. You find the Abu girls in mini skirts. You are seated listening to the word. And the girl who's ne she's naked by your side. You find them. And who is a motivational speaker? You find the girls in skin tight jeans. And that false teach on the pulpit tells them everybody pray in tongues. And the girls one of She's just looking like a prostitute. Oh, go see me with your Christo. Amen, I know. That is not the body of Christ. Christo does not look like that. Amen. Amen. But Jesus Christ is coming to take a church. That church is the church, the word church. The, the church is the word. Pure word. No mixture. Nothing of the world in her. She is one. She is one. She is one. Baptized in Jesus' name. How can you follow something that does not even know how to baptize? baptize um, they baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You ask them, what is the name of the Father? They tell you, Father. If you ask someone, what is your daddy's name? And he said, it's daddy. 
That is a kid. Oh, yo, yo, mwana. Huh? Hey. No wonder the angel told Brother Branham, you cannot teach Pentecostal babies. <laughs> Spiritual things. They have a lot to be condemned. But Jesus challenged who can condemn you. We want also now like our our husband. We want to ask the world. Condemn us of sin. Show us in a scripture that we are guilty of removing. Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, Jesus yes. has a, a, a word body in the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Yes. 2024. Has. Arena. Two thousand twenty-four. Jesus Christ has a church in the world. That is called the body of the word of God. Hallelujah. So the head can unite with the body. And then the body shall cut out the works of the head. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You will forgive me, I have delayed you. But in a few minutes, let me add some few statements here. Now the seed, it has power to reproduce itself. The word of God has the power to produce the children of God. China man. It has power. It has the power to produce gods. The word and of God has power. The man. To produce Okuzara. gods. Amateur gods. A child of God is an amateur god. Amina. Amina. Praise God. But what can fail it to do so? One, if you hybrid it, you kill it. And when the church there that is called themselves Pentecostal, call themselves Baptists, whatever they want to, when they, when they hybrid this word with the dogma, it produces a dead child. And she can't have no life. She's dead. And her children is dead. God said, I will throw, I will throw her in the bed of wilderness. And kill her children. God said so. Amen. Amen. Dead. Why? Grouchy. Hybrid. Amina. Any of those churches uh, that have the Bible here and they have taken away here and added things here there, that is death. Run away from that. It is death. Now remember Every spoken word of God is the original seed. God planted, planted everything in the earth by his word. And as long as you stay with the word, the original seed, it will breed itself right back. Reproduce itself again. I breed it. It dies. Now, this goes to the message church. 
Pardon. This goes to the message church. Even as message believers, we must be careful of what we teach. We must be sure we are teaching the original truth. Amen. 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 If you mix in anything, you have made a hybrid. Now, you will discontinue the seed. A sigo. To mix it, will bring forth a super crop. A as it's proven. But what kind of a crop? A crop of falsehood. Theft. Hybrid your corn. It bring forth a big crop. Better crop. Better looking. But it's dead. Plant it back. Plant it back. And it produces everything. It's done. It's finished. Super crop. Super crop. But dead. A crop of, a crop of falsehood. Watoto. Watoto. Very organized. Very big church. So many members. The high learned. The government officials. But go there and try to harvest there any, 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 any crop of Pentecost. You will not find it there. If you know very well the Bible, you know what the original Pentecostal church was. The holiness it had, the love it had, the unity it had, the miracles it had, the genuine tongues and interpretation, the prophecies, genuine, try to harvest it there. You won't get it. Super crop. The Catholic Church is a super crop. They're organized. Big hospitals, big schools. But you cannot get an original crop from it. It's dead. His members can live any kind of life. Dead. So that's what comes out of a hybrid. Amen. Amina. Hmm. Now, Kati. that's one thing. The other thing to, that can fail the seed, that can fail the seed. Is if it lacks moisture. Where um, No, mazi, mazi. Amen. Amen. The seed, the word of God is a seed. sigo. But a seed must be given water. Na yes, sigo eno eno kuwa mazi. That's a short quote here. They got some wheat out of the Ghana from back there. That was in the time of Joseph. And put it and put it and planted it here. A couple of years ago. You see that in the magazine. And produced a crop of wheat. It was still wheat. What's the reason? Only thing it needed is just some water. God's word is just the same as it was when it, he spoke it back yonder. Thousands, uh, thousands, uh, thousands of years ago, the only thing it needs is water. What is water? 
Amazi chechi. The Holy Spirit. We moyo mtukuvu. In America. America. They put in a magazine a story. Bateka mumbapula za bazama ole olugero. Readers digest. That they got seeds. Nibafu nesigo from Egypt. Okuve misiri. Those seeds that that wheat that Joseph stored. Eh resigo Joseph de yariate demo de yariate reka. Thousands of years. And they planted it. And it brought forth wheat. Abraham said, What did it lack? Only water. So that means if you have the word of God, pure as it is. But if you don't, if it lacks the Holy Spirit, it will remain there. Waiting for the Holy Spirit. The church must have the power of the Holy Spirit. You need the power of the Holy Spirit in you. If you don't get the Holy Spirit, that word will stay there. But it will not produce the the attributes that are, are in it. The other thing that will fail the seed. And some fell among thorns. And sprang up with it. And choked it. See? What was that? He goes ahead and tells that some, as soon as they get, then he said, I'm not going to pull one punch today or nothing. See? See? Just what I think the Christian businessmen and the rest of them of this Pentecost organization and the people and these people that's building all these big millions of dollars of things. The riches of the world has choked out the glory and the spirit of God. Dying. Because he's choked. The world. Care of the world. It choked them out. Wow. Care of the world. The women want to be active. And bob off their hair. And have waterhead haircuts. Wear shorts. And look like the rest of the world. The preachers stand in the pulpit. With practice their amen. And afraid of the word of God. Because of a meal ticket. If they can't ride a Cadillac. And they are not even considered spiritual anymore. That's right. If they can't dress in the, in the best of clothes and do everything else, they are considered they are backslid. They are not so and so. Now listen. Chaos. Oh, chaos, chaos, chaos. chaos. Busy running after the world. No time for church. No time for prayer. No time for reading the word. Running after the world. I've got to reach here. I've got to get this. I've got to reach here. Have to, to, to obtain this, 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 and your whole heart is there. Brother, we need to study. Study, study, get a first degree, get a second, even if you get the third, even the fourth. No one has study. But to make sure your heart is on the word of God. Make sure you don't miss fellowship. Make sure. You can end in the spirit and say amen and fall on the ground and cry and pray with your PhD. PhD But some of you, after getting the masters and the PhDs, you get good jobs. 
She started driving Range Rovers. Oh, night prayer service. When the pastor calls him for prayers, that's not for you. Uh, go, how can I go with my children in the overnight? Tomorrow I'm supposed to be at, at work. I'm supposed to go in a business meeting. Oh, brothers, pray for me. Now, cut it. The word of God is now in the sun. It will choke it. It will, it will die. Amina. It Hallelujah. Die. Now today. Let me tell you. I've ever said it here. I've said it in my church seven times. I've said it in many places. One enemy of the word is this. This thing here. It's is the greatest enemy of the world. iPhone, Samsung, I tell you, Simani take no. You must have got to sing or cover and I am music at WhatsApp. WhatsApp. YouTube. YouTube. What not? Instagram. Instagram. TikTok. TikTok. This is the greatest enemy of the world. Oh no, you must have got to go to dinner. However much, however good the seed you have in you that can create another heaven and earth that will transform you into a daughter, a son of God that will take you into the rapture that will give you peace and joy. However good the word is, you have buried it on TikTok. Wachizika ku TikTok. No more praying. Tocha saba. No more reading the word. Tocha soma Bible. Tocha soma chigambo. When did you last read a chapter? Dilo wasemba yoku soma sura ya mu Bible. Of the Bible. D. When did you last read a message book? Dilo wasemba yoku soma katamu kumuvaka. When did you last listen to a tape? And complete it. No camera yokona. How can you complete it? When you are ever watching. What's up? What's up? This group, that group. Group and group and group and group. This is the greatest enemy. Oh no, Kati Yamurabia singa watulina. Of the word. Wetigambo. No more praying. You pray when you are here. Because here you have a chance to disable your phone. But when you are home, you are ever attending to that thing. 24-7. Therefore, the word of God, you have buried, you have put it in stones. It will die. It's not a guarantee that the seed will produce what is in it. It depends on the ground where it fell. Good pastor, good preacher, will give you all the word in its pureness, but where it has landed, it is has landed on a brain that is on YouTube. And you scroll this and you scroll this and you scroll this. And the devil is throwing that Poison and that poison. And and that poison. And, that poison. And, that poison. and Facebook. 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 You check your TikTok. No. After TikTok. TikTok. You check your WhatsApp. TikTok. No. You scrolling. No. Scrolling. No. Scrolling. Or WhatsApp group. We no need. Baganda ba. My brethren. Let us watch. The life of. 
the atmosphere Embera. where we have put the word of God. It will fail Chijakulemwa. to produce a bride in you. It will fail Chijakulemwa. to produce a rapture bride in you. It will fail to produce resurrection in you. Amina, it will fail to produce signs and wonders. A victorious girl who overcome this age. A victorious boy who overcome fornication and immorality. The word of God has power to give you victory over the world. But it will fail because you have buried it in the wrong ground. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But Jesus will have a spotless church. Jesus will have a super church. Jesus will have sons and daughters of God who are like himself. He will as a crop as a crop of this message. Amen. Amen. Let us stand on our feet. If you want to be remembered in prayer, raise your hand. Say, God have mercy upon me. I have put my, the word of God in a wrong atmosphere. In a wrong condition. I repent. I repent. God have mercy upon me. I want to be remembered in prayer. Raise your hand to God. And you mean it. That from today. You're going to work on that, on that ground. That will be a suitable ground. For the word of God. Heavenly Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for the hands that are raised. Have mercy upon the students. You told us when the enemy shall come in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against you. The enemy has come in like a flood. May your spirit, Lord, lift us above. The floods of the earth. Give us grace, Father. That this uh, glorious message that we have received. This pure word seed that we have received. Nothing will fail it. To bring forth after its kind. Help your children, Lord. Fight for them, Lord God. Give them the, the victory. Release the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Release the power of God. To give them strength. To live above the temptations. Of the age. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Pastor. Amen. 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 Give me power, my dear Lord of glory.
Voices and worship the Lord. And ask the Lord to water that word. In your soul. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes,